ओके अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू दिस सेशन आई एम सी ए शोमोदीप्त दास वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस पेपर कॉल सी बी वन नाउ लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू दिस पेपर विच इज द फर्स्ट पेपर ऑफ योर एक्चुअल career okay now what is this paper dealing with this paper deals with the subject called business finance now what what will a student expect to learn out of this paper i am going to tell you in detail but prior to that why will an actuary need to know about business finance okay so firstly firstly it has been an endeavor for ifoa to train their students in the in a process so that they are market ready as an actuary now what do i mean by this term called market ready when you work in the industry or when you work on your clients numbers you will be exposed to financial statements of you know big companies big insurance groups and you know you'll be exposed to a lot of financial uh, modeling remodeling financial terms jargon jargons and financial you know exposure and risks and everything in order to you know in order to give you an exposure as to what are the financial statements and how to interpret them in order to give an actuary an exposure as to how financial instruments are used what are its applications you know what are financial instruments you need to know about business finance and that is exactly why they have this paper not from today but from you know since the inception it was earlier known as ct2 this paper was earlier known as ct2 now it has been renamed as revamped and represented as cb1 okay so firstly as an actuary a student needs to know what is business finance why because he needs to actually you know groom himself as an actuary for the industry okay so that is the first note on cb1 now i'll talk about what is there in the syllabus of cb1 so that you grow interest in this paper okay now if i talk about this paper i will just draw a comparative between the earlier earlier it was ct2 earlier it was ct2 and today it has become cb1 okay so this is ct2 and this is cb1 okay now i am comparing if you see line by line there were there were 19 there were 19 topics in ct2 and in cb1 it has been increased to 22 but i tell you there are cosmetic changes there are changes but there are cosmetic changes mostly it's the same so someone who is giving ct2 or who's once again wants to resume his actuarial journey can easily you know from that preparation of ct2 can switch to cb1 with least uh, difficulty but if you've totally forgotten you're you know supposed to revise and train yourself that way okay so firstly the first chapter if you can see is same in both the courses that is key principles of finance it's a introductory chapter and if you see in under cb1 it has been renamed to key principles of finance and corporate governance okay now the next chapter the next chapter if you see is business ownership under ct uh, cb1 it was known as company ownership under cb uh, ct2 okay the third chapter as you can see remains the same its taxation so the changes lie in the fourth chapter you can see long term finance and here we have financial instruments okay you can see issue of shares and short and middle term finance and here they have issue of shares 
but there has been a change in the middle portion they who have long term finance and short term and medium term finance and they have financial instruments okay use of derivatives is there in 8 and there in 5 okay and what else is there if you see there is introduction to accounts introduction to accounts after that everything remains same that is introduction to accounts topic number 7 in ct2 which is topic number 9 in uh, you know cb1 the main accounts depreciation and reserves and constructing accounts this was named as generating accounts okay and you have group accounts and insurance company very important for an actuary to be exposed to the accounts of an insurance company okay and interpretation of accounts here you will learn accounts not as an accountant but as an user of accounting information so that you can very crisply understand and interpret financial statements like i am saying okay and limitations of accounts and alternative reporting evaluation of working capital is a new topic as you can see it was not there n i marked it n because it's new and then you have management information which is also new and then you have growth and restructuring of companies which is also new now the weighted average cost of capital dividend policy and capital project appraisal remains the same same so that is a pretty brief comparative between the old version of business finance which was ct2 and the new version which is cb1 of course this is updated and this is uh, very edgy so this is about the comparative and introduction on the subject now i have introduced myself of course i am a practicing ca i have done cas ifrs and all these things and of course i am a teacher of business finance from a long time i used to teach ct2 and then cb1 i have introduced to you what this paper purports to do and then i have compared cb1 with the erstwhile ct2 and you have an idea of the syllabus now let's talk about the study materials and how we are going to you know uh, study in class and at home if someone is studying how he or she should approach okay let us see just a moment okay so we have we have a study material and we will be having we will be referring to revision notes these two are must for our success in any paper and the third thing which you'll get additionally in my class will be crisp you know summary summarized slides summarized slides on each chapter on each chapter that is each of the 22 chapters which we have seen har ek chapter ke liye we will use we will use crisp summarized slides okay for each chapter that's an add on and towards the end of the syllabus or let's say every 2 3 chapters we will have mock tests we will have mock test in order to ensure that you guys are being able to process what we are learning in class so that we can check ourselves and test ourselves and you know revise so mock test every 2 chapter every 2 chapters we will have mock tests and and lastly we will practice past papers we will practice in class questions from the past papers so this is our strategy for cb1 okay so on that note on that note i will uh, leave it till there and on the next video i will talk about our technical you know chapter i'll i'll show you how we approach a technical chapter
we will have a full fledged class thanks for joining in that's an introduction to cb1 goodbye